Hi, boys and girls, Mrs. Freeland here. Hey, we are going to use a new strategy today for writing our story. So I want you to look at the screen I have and um, your teacher should be sharing a map with you and we're gonna call that map a timeline that looks just like this. So a timeline is the order of our story from the beginning and things that happen in the middle and then the end. So you can see that our timeline has a beginning, a middle and an end. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna think about how your story begins, what happens in the middle, how it ends, and then you're going to sketch each one of those um, events on your sticky note. Now, boys and girls, remember that you don't have to have three events exactly in the middle. You might have more or less events in the middle. It's really important to have a timeline because this um, tells you the order of your story before you write it. And it also helps you remember details that you wanna write. So we're gonna make little sketches on sticky notes and I'm gonna do it on my screen to show you um, what happened in my story. So you wanna go back to your um, idea and you're gonna choose an idea that you really like. So um, I'm going to choose the idea when my daughter ran away. So I'm gonna circle that idea now I'm gonna go back to my sticky note page and I'm gonna to start to sketch that idea. So I'm playing the story through in my mind and I'm picturing it like it happened. So like I told you, I um, she was outside playing. So I'm just gonna sketch and you know, this is um, sketching with you know a mouse, so it's not too great. So we have a little cement area with a basketball hoop. So I'll kind of draw the basketball hoop here. You're gonna be a lot better with your um, paper than I am with this. So here's my daughter. I'm gonna just make a little stick girl here, All right? And I'll draw her right there. And she was playing with sidewalk chalk, okay? It's not very good drawing, I know boys and girls, but it's kind of hard with a computer. All right, so she's about three or four years old. She was playing with sidewalk chalk outside and I was watching her out the window and um, I was getting ready. Um, so my next event would be when I looked outside, I'm gonna draw outside again. Here's the basketball hoop. Here's the hoop. Doesn't look very much like a basketball hoop I know, but that's all right. So when I looked outside, she was gone, okay? So in the middle of the story, here's the orchard. I'm trying to draw trees. It's not going very well here. My mouse isn't very good. Here's a tree. <laughs> Here's another tree. I should have just done it on paper. So we walked all over the orchard, yelling for her and looking for her saying, hey, where are you? And I went down by the road to look for her. So I'm gonna draw the road because I was so afraid, right? And then um, like the rest of our family went back in the orchard to look for her. And then the end is that they found her in the back of the orchard with our dog, Daisy dog. So I'm going to draw our dog. This doesn't look like a dog. I know, but that's all right. So there's our dog and she was with the dog in the back of the orchard and she didn't call like she didn't answer because she was so little, like when we called her. So we were so scared that we couldn't find her, but we found her by our dog. So boys and girls, this is what I would do. I would take each one of these sticky notes and these are gonna become a page in my story. So I'm going to practice telling it using each of these sticky notes. And then I'm gonna take these sticky notes, use them on each page of my story, and then that's gonna become my story. So I'm going to say we were getting ready for church. My daughter Sylvia was outside playing with sidewalk chalk. She was only three or four. I was watching her out the window. I turned around and looked out the window again and she was gone. Then our family went all over the orchard looking for her and I went down by the road yelling for her and no one answered. Finally, we went in the back of the orchard and she followed our dog to the back of the orchard and we found them both. The end. 
All right, boys and girls. So I might add in there how I felt, what I saw, what I was thinking, all those details. And remember, it's just a short moment. It's not my whole day. It's just that one event that made me so scared, right? So um, this is how you use a timeline to tell a story. And each one of these is a part in your story. Here's what's happened in the beginning, then next, then next, then next, and how your story ended. And if you need more or less sticky notes, um, that's okay. So then you might have more things that happen in the middle than three. Okay, boys and girls, good luck with your story today.